Bullet Club Culture family. What's going on, y'all? What the fuck is this, twin? This is some new shit, honey. Yeah. This is this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is that new, new. And we definitely ready to give you something that you're going to enjoy. What do we yeah, got? Yeah, you feel me? This is Club Culture R&B. You feel me? A little bit of an R&B chat, baby. Yeah, uh, we decided... You know, we're still going to do R&B reactions, but we're figuring that out. But for now, we've decided to have a weekly R&B chat, a little pod, R&B pod for y'all. Between A, B, and C, okay? Yeah. The discussion has yeah. to include y'all, so y'all got to talk to us, let us know mm-hmm. what's going on. Putting you on some new things, right? New yeah. Music. Yeah, I need that. I need that. I'll be in my lane. Well, not just you, but them too. Yeah, of course. You know, taking suggestions. Um, And it's really going to be like the reactions, just longer yeah pretty much i think i like that giving our takes on some r&b uh topics music recommendations always please okay you see me artist spotlights we're trying to change her mind on a lot of different (laughs) things that have to do with r&b okay because it's a very broad spectrum so yo you you might even see some artists here with us here and there bringing some i'm most excited for that the artists to come on yes i'm so excited for all of this Huh, so, you know, make sure that y'all please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that. Leave a comment to talk to us. We love to hear other R&B takes. You feel me? Yeah, we want to know who you're listening to. Give us the, you know, the tea. Let's know who's popular. Yeah, we need a we need a theme song. I got to check because we can't use the same pod theme song, but we're going to use it for now. But we need a theme <laughs> so like, you feel me? It's the R&B girl. Something. You feel me? Or a little ballad. How you you say it? How you guys say it? You guys say it real sad. A ballad? It's the R&B girls. That was... A little hip-hop R&B. That was a little Dej Loaf. Look, that was oh, little, that was that was melodic rap. That was a little, that was melodic rap. That's exactly what that was. Yeah, I, I ain't really a bad ballad, ballad girl. Uh, mm-hmm. Shit, yeah. what, what, give me give me a beat. We're gonna do a hip hop R and B. It's the R and B girls. R and B girls. Oh, 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 all right. Okay. Hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to get back into it because she the guy too far off. Here we go. We're going to figure it out. Twin, why do you feel like you should be able to speak on R&B? I think because I dabble in so many different versions of R&B. Mm-hmm. I have that right. Mm-hmm. I feel that mm-hmm. I have been listening to it since I was in the womb. Okay. In the womb. In the womb. You know when they put the little headphones on the belly? That yeah. music's so challenging. You was in there already. Why do you think I look like Jill? <laughs> Why do you think I look like Jill? Oh, okay. Okay. It's because I was listening to R&B in the womb. So I just want y'all to know. Mm-hmm. If I give you a suggestion, you better go listen to it, okay? For sure. That's don't important. leave us hanging. Please don't. We ain't talking for no reason. No. The fuck? I'm wasting my breath over here, honey. <sighs> I really, I really enjoy the spectrum, like the the large variety of different people and what you're gonna get with every different person. Yeah. Why do you feel like you have that right? I mean, outside of being an R and B artist, that's true. I just love R and B. I literally don't really care for any other genre. I feel like all we need in this world is money, sleep, and R and B. You feel me? Because the girls See? gonna come with it. Yeah. So yeah. we just need the R and B. Girls dominate R and B for sure. Man, they really do. I mean, you have you have the men that have their definite like you got our favorites, but some women really just shit. The girls dominate in rap right now too. If we really oh, want to be sure. honest, that's another discussion. Yeah. But you know, you know I mean. well for another pod, you know. <laughs> okay, you know. we gonna talk about that a little later because yeah. for sure. So we have very special plans for this uh, R and B pod. We're going to say the videos, if you on, you know, your favorite streaming platform, these pods will probably be around minimum 20 minutes, maximum, I'm going to say, to an hour tops, and that's pushing it, you feel me? Because I really want us to just lock in, come in, and, and leave. Quick yeah. little chat, get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Look forward to having artists on. Definitely looking forward to hearing music from those artists mm-hmm. and performances, maybe. Performances, maybe. Maybe getting a little bit of a, you know, a little chat of some new music. Yeah, you know, get the, the the scope, come drop the news with us on the pie, you know. Just, you you 
want to be here when we premiere songs <laughs> on this. Oh, yo, we could be. Come on now. I see a lot of big things for this twin. Yeah, I really do too. And I'm excited for the ride. I hope y'all are. Yeah. I think it's going to be dope. Mm-hmm. What are we talking about today? Uh, Today, I want us to chat about how we feel about the pace, the speed of how music is dropped today. How albums, singles, the u- u- uh, usage of singles. How is that being played in today's time? Streaming, all of that. And that's just within R&B. Yeah, with R&B. You know, because that's all that matters. I just feel that... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sometimes I'm deprived. Like, there's music that gets dropped, uh-huh. of course. But then there's such a large gap in between when we get something new from our artist that's a fan favorite. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I I definitely feel like I'm... It's not, like, oversaturated, like, R&B itself. But at the same time... I there's a while there, there's my playlist is stopped at that one little album <laughs> <laughs> so you want more music hell yeah I need more music oh um gosh. I'm not pressuring any artists love you babe look I just want you to know <laughs> that I I live through y'all through this music it ain't gotta okay. be all sad all toxic all the time sometimes I just want to see y'all I creative mean, side you hear me if that's what in a heart I know I'll take it Look, just because you it. like toxicity does not mean we I all just do. love, okay, they say I like baby mama music. You do. <laughs> I swear, it you don't matter do. how sad the song is. If that motherfucker when they're singing, that's all I came for. That's that's it? The melodies? The singing vocal abilities on this track of you talking not about how the you want to beat that nigga head in. The lyrics, <laughs> I don't be focused. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I know I'm going to go to that song if I need the lyrics, but I'm really here to hear you just go crazy, to be honest. Oh, Put me in a sure. vibe. That's it. For huh. sure. <clears throat> Did you, what if I was to tell you, friend, that the same amount of time that artists take to drop albums, I'll say like two years, was how it was in the past, too. It's just because we drop singles so much, mm-hmm. you get to forget that the same amount of time it takes to, t- to drop albums is what they were doing in the past. Like you wouldn't get an album for like four, two to four years from an artist because they would drop their album and then they'll go tour it. And their tour yeah. would eat up a lot of time and then they yeah. get back in the studio and then they drop again. So artists used to have to actually push their music. And they're actually taking that time out to do so. So Yeah, so now they don't really take that time to push it. They go do a TikTok and let TikTok... Run the Blow that now. shit up. You feel me? That is smart. Now we want some more because we done seen it 50 times on TikTok. <laughs> because y'all literally got that every time. There's a dance to it. Yeah. There's a, <laughs> you got the song. Everybody's cooking to it. You making yeah. some type of salmon bites to the damn song. <laughs> I just, I'm just really trying to enjoy the music and get more. But at the same time, I understand because, I mean, you got to promote it, right? Everybody in the world got to know that song. You got to make yeah. that bread. Make your money. Bitty. I, I mean, but yeah, if you could just throw a little, maybe just give me my emails just so you can send <laughs> not that you my get the way. Sneakies, the I'm sneakies. not going to drop it. I don't leak stuff. Okay. <clears throat> hey, we would love to have, you know, sneak peeks. You feel you want us to give it an ear. You feel me? You all can send it to the club culture email, you know. Yes. You know. Please do that. Ooh. <laughs> you, do you think you would listen to some people who would actually send that stuff? And even if they're not like celeb celeb, you think you would listen to it? If it's a, if I go, on your Instagram to see how your shit looking, then yeah. Cause okay. I've tested to see if this is worth listening to. But if it's cause you know how artists are, they want anybody to listen to their stuff and give their opinion. So it don't it could be That's terrible. True. So many of us write music, do music, that'll be a lot of emails. Okay. Honey. We going we only accepting great music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you very so if confident you in your music, send it. Don't send ahead. it if you're not and you want somebody to tell because you. Because we trash. don't clown you, babe. I'm not even I love you though. Yeah. <laughs> I love. Don't don't do that to us. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Don't put us in that position. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. P. Diddy, he had that song with Bryson Tiller that he had dropped. Uh was this recent? Yeah, the, the song he had with P. Diddy. I mean with uh Bryson Tiller, Gotta Move On. I don't even think I heard that yet. Damn. Okay, well, he had that was his like coming out single with him creating his own R and B label called Love Records. Not did he? So he dropped R&B the song label. with Bryson Tiller called "Gotta Move On," and he was pushing that song for a very long time, going to radio stations, just actually pushing it, doing a rollout with it. Mm-hmm. And so people's like, "Some 
You feel me? Give up on the song. <laughs> you, do you think he should have gave up? No, he should do what he's supposed to do because that's what, like, marketing your song and then that song turns into a hit, that's the song you're going to be forever singing all your life. You should True. never go away from your hits because that's what we came here to see. Now, given that I'm not somebody that has not heard the song yet, your opinion is what on the song that he was promoting so heavily? I mean, it's a typical song of today where you get a good two, thir- two minutes and 30 seconds. Would you skip it if it played the, on the radio? If it played on, I wouldn't skip it, but it's not some. It's not a replayable song for me. Okay, it's not one of those songs that I should put so much money behind. But yeah. because this is Diddy's entry back into oh, put it pushing music and shit, you feel me? Let me really, you feel me? Push my music in front of y'all. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I liked that he was doing the traditional rollouts and pushing, going to radio stations, doing the whole circuit. I like that he was doing that. You feel me? Now I just want you to do it towards something that's really a hit for real. Yeah, because you know he got more potential than that. Yeah. You, well, I don't know about P. Diddy. No? I don't know if P. Diddy got the ear for today's sound of music compared to how he had the ear for in the past. So I don't know okay. about that. Today's age is different from when he was doing shows, trying to put groups together and yeah. all of that. So. Being a hype man behind your artist is not the same today like that ain't gonna work you know you gotta really like make some good music for sure i'm because <clears throat> music, mediocre, music is pretty many i'm not gonna say mediocre because it's so much great r&b and that's what we're here for to show y'all that but the simp the the formula for making music r&b today is very mediocre and yeah. you know to really set yourself uh, different from the pack the crowd is to actually not do that formula and do something different do you think trying what they're doing today would be is more beneficial now? Like, of course, you have a lot of people who almost like how SoundCloud was like getting that drop. You get that drop on TikTok now. Yeah. So as of like right now, do you think it's more beneficial how they're doing it today or before? I think it's beneficial for the artist that's not mainstream or a label. <clears throat> uh, somebody that's signed to a label. It's beneficial for those that's trying to get their name out there because I can just drop whenever I want to build an organic fan base, push my stuff on social media and not need a big budget Mm. or a a label backing me to compete with these label artists because the music's still great. It's just, it's not being exposed. I don't have the money to to get it exposed. So it's great for those, but it ain't great for uh, consumers that just keep, that got greedy and like, why you ain't dropped a song yet? Cause girl, Drop they that be shit right asking. Now. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good for y'all. Be getting bullied, and yeah. I swear, I be looking at the comments like, "Gee, if y'all want to fight, fight." Like, <laughs> I, like it's a song. Like, let yeah. them do what they got to do as an artist. At the end of the day, like this is something they're doing on their own. You got to give them that grace, right? <sighs> Niggas don't know how hard it is to actually write music, and <laughs> and I commend hard. y'all every day because I promise you, I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. It's hard. And then you want me to drop an album every year? That's 12 songs. It's supposed to be 12 songs. Mm -hmm. 12 great songs or cohesive songs. Or the album flops. And y'all going to eat me up if it flops. (laughs) Exactly. So what are y'all asking for? Like, please tell me. Yeah. If you're not going to put yourself in in their shoes, like, come on now. We we can get it as as it comes. It's low-key. We got enough artists in the world to really have a continuous little drop every so much, so often. I don't know why that, because you can understand that a painting probably takes years to do, but uh, you don't think that a three-minute song might take months to really perfect? <sighs> Shit, for, songs for me be starting off as hums. Mm-hmm. This girl right here, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> you just be in the car, in the shower, <laughs> cooking and some shit, and she just going at it. whole time, this first time I heard something from this girl is like, a month ago, right? You had just showed us something, showed me something I hadn't heard yet, and I was just like, "Why? And just it's, it's why near, haven't you dropped it? It's like, nowhere near the, done." Exactly, and you kept telling me that, and I was trying not to be mad. I was really trying to like keep my composure about myself because I was like, "I need this. <laughs> I need this now. Y'all need to hear and, this." And that's nowhere near done. It sounds trash to me because I know what it's supposed to sound like. I mean, we gonna give you your grace, right? We gonna we gonna let you do what you do. You gonna give it to me, but. Drop some more music. Put some money in my bank account. <laughs> fun to, fun, <laughs> write some music fun to, for me, okay? Thank you. I got to go through something to write music, to be honest. <laughs> but, you feel me? Uh, today's world, 
uh, mainstream artists, they typically have a schedule of dropping new music on Fridays. Mm. So I'm thinking we should uh, post episodes. We should record over the weekend and post episodes on Mondays so that we can remain relevant with the drops. I respect that too. So that's what I think you feel me. That's, that's what y'all should look forward to. Just Monday drops. Monday drops. Get ready for girls. that music that you just seen because we know y'all going to talk about it. We know y'all going to talk about it. We're going to see all the little snippets and everything. Yeah. So just be in tune for that because, I I mean, at this summer, at this point, it's like spring. We just waiting on who's going to drop next. Whew, I'm definitely waiting for that, that, summer, that summer song. You don't think we got one already? Just like, just like one, like one good R and B summer song. See, this is why I, this is back from where we was just at the pace of music, because we always looking for something new and get and we run the song down. We a lot of songs ain't get the love they deserve because they was no. so great. No guidance by Drake and Chris Brown was streamed and listened to and it had his moment. But I feel like if it was in the past in that drop, Mm -hmm. that still would be still one of the top songs right now on 106 and Park every week or something, the video. That song, Kid and Tim's. Oh, my God. That song is one of the greatest songs. Y'all really, like, overdid it. And it's one of my favorite songs, like, with them, period. I just, (laughs) it was too much. You don't need no other body. Cause to this day, I'm a still, I'm a still like jam, but at the same time, it doesn't give the feeling that I had when I first heard it. Yeah, it well, was, it do for me because I appreciate music. I ain't trying to rush no processes. Like, let me rock oh, with this. Whatsoever. Let me rock with this song. Whatsoever. That song, come on, I'm still. It feel like I just heard it. Seriously, I love that song so much. I don't know. Sometimes I'll be feeling like I got to hear something like different, different almost every day. And I'm not saying that to be like, just like overly like bored. Cause I promise I'm not. No, I'm I hate not. you whores. I'm not, I'm not trying to, but it's just that <laughs> like, like even today I was like, no, I don't want to hear no old shit. I need something like different. Just play. I don't know. Play something else. Play some Patty LaBelle or something. I don't know. I understand. I understand. Those two songs definitely I feel like deserve more love. I ain't gonna lie. This R, this ain't R and B, but Meg Thee Stallion, Plan B, that song, I definitely feel like that deserve. If if Little Kim was oh, to do that sure. song in the past, that shit will take the summer, in two summers. It'll take two summers before we run it through the ground. Girls would be eating that shit up, and it would be literally <clears throat> one of them damn songs, like she said, that would not stop being played. Yeah, like that gave me Little Kim. Oh, I could see why they was going crazy to her, cause I, raunchy dear nigga, I used to. With your beast, cause I ain't planning to be stuck with you. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she just went New York rap on me real fast. <laughs> cause that's what that song gives me. But yeah, yeah, I'm with it heavily. What What's the summer song you think we got already? That, <sighs> that you think will be a great summer song? And then you know, I'm only honestly asking you because I'm trying to see where your head at. Cause you, like you said, popular music is what you mainly like look for sometimes. Like just try like to give an ear to it. Okay. I I think my type of R&B is the popular sound. Mm-hmm. I don't go just listen to only mainstream, oh, mainstream popular music. R&B. So the popular yeah, sound. Because I listen like. to very low-key niggas that have that popular R&B sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So don't be trying to say I want to I'm not saying that. Music. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, mm-hmm. I, I definitely notice that sometimes my music suggestions to you be like, you you like this for real? Like <laughs> this is this is what you into? And I'll be like, yeah, you you hear that snare in the background? Uh-huh. Nigga? Like that is crazy. It's too too futuristic for I'm me. Sorry. Hold on, you, why they got bongos <laughs> as a snare? Hold Listen, on, Sherry, hey. if you love some house music, understand I, I with house music? Do you just not? You feel me? Some <laughs> hot music. Give me the straight blackity black this, house of music. Of course, of course, I would never give you anything else. EDM. Look, no, no, I'm good on that. Dance. <laughs> it's not house music. Same <laughs> city. One night. Ari Lennox. Jasmine Sullivan. Jasmine. Dang, you thirsty. You ain't, even, right. Look. <laughs> you ain't even think about it. Ooh, that's, a, that's a whole lot of women, honey. Like, I just, mm, I couldn't be more excited to be in that vicinity. <laughs> I, I just hope maybe we might be able to see her. I, I would love to. I would pay money. Okay. <laughs> we I are going to see her. What you mean, Mike? I mean, to see her, like, 
behind the stage. Like oh. I'm, I'm trying to meet her in person. Shake yeah, I don't head. know if our tickets got that, but it, it's it's <laughs> a, supposed to be some type of special ticket. I just don't know if we get to meet her with that ticket. It wouldn't let me know. But either way, to be in in presence of her, come on. So Jasmine Sullivan is who you going to go see? I'm going to see all three of them. No, 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 no. Same city, one night only. Jasmine Sullivan's in the same city as ja- as Ari Lennox, and you only could choose one to go see live. Oh my god, that's a headache. Why? Who would? Who would? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't think you heard me. <laughs> no, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you, and now I'm more upset for it. I I'm gonna let you go first. No, I asked you. I can't. Uh, I can't uh, pick. I can't pick. Jasmine that's- Sullivan. You would pick Jasmine? Jasmine Sullivan, no thinking about it. Without a doubt, I'm going to see Jazzy Baby. That's surprising. Yeah, I love Ari Lennox. I will lick the brown off her skin, okay? <laughs> okay. But no, nobody has ever been able to radiate my soul, solar system. You feel me? Like Jasmine Sullivan's voice. I saw her live at the One Music Fest um, in Atlanta this year. Mm-hmm. Well, last year, 2022, that's my first time seeing her live. And I bought a $400 ticket just to see her out of all the artists they had there just for her. Yeah. It was well. UT Fold, okay? She sounds so fucking great. Now, she, I've never heard a bad performance from Jasmine Sullivan. I love that you've been able to see her in concert. And that I can understand why that drives your decision. I mean, I've seen both. Exactly. Ari that was I, great. That I knew. On her most recent tour, she was great. Mm-hmm. But it, it it feels like every song she performed that night was the same vibe, but I know it's not the same song. It's different songs, different topics, but she still sang it the same. You know that little, she do this little um, hip roll to the ground dance all the time. <laughs> it's so cute. She do it all the time she, with her she, microphone. She, she go down with it. Whining, yeah. If you could do the same dance to, the, to different songs and you do it the same every single time, that means that you, it's just, I didn't feel like I'm listening to the same song, but I know I'm not. Oh, friend. So, Jasmine, every song she sings, you know she's going to give us there's, vocals. Yeah, there's a story in every song but that Jasmine sings. Yeah, it ain't that. She going she gonna to turn the riffs in reverse for a different song and do a different riff for, you feel me? It's she's going to give you a different feeling every time. Like, you're never going to feel the same. <laughs> and and that's, that's not even being dramatic. That's for real. I, I do feel like if I were in the same city, same night, two different concerts, yeah, Jasmine would probably take that cake. And and, and I haven't seen either one of them ever before, so mm-hmm. I don't know what their performances are like. I've only ever seen them like through a live yeah. or whatever, right? Jazz, you got that, babe. Like you really you really know what you're doing on stage. <laughs> I need more music from her. You think? She gave. She came into the game. She you don't did think Hoax Tales is gonna hold? No, you Hoax Tales been holding me over for the past. I think it dropped two years ago. It's oh, yeah. been holding me over. I listen to it every day. Every, every day. day. Finally. But that that album before Hotels was that Yellow Project, mm-hmm. and With that was TV. a long, It was a while ago. Mm-hmm. So you feel me? <sighs> it's true. You know she got she got shit in the vault. But if she is one of those. She's just a legend already with just two projects, three projects for me. Because mm. nobody's voice is like that. It's so great. You're giving her legend status. For me, yes. Ooh. And that's just based off, off talent alone. Like, yeah. she don't even have to put out music. She could be an acapella artist. The voice make her legend for me. Ooh, okay. Spit that fire, the twist. Voice, the voice. Spit that fire. The vocal ability. I do agree. I do agree. I recently watched something where she was like young. This was like 90s. This I saw, I, think I, I think you saw the same thing. Oh my God. The Even Apollo. little, yes, yeah. little jazz yeah. had pipes, bro. Like, it's it's grandfathered in for her. So, I, after this, I, <laughs> After getting a chance to see her, I feel like I'll probably be able to put her into legend status as well. Facts. Yeah. So, same city, one night. You know, we love to go see. We go. We love to go to concerts. That's our thing. Yes, it is. Make sure you stay tuned for that, by the way. Facts. <laughs> we, we definitely will start creating content of the concerts we will be going to because we've been to two so far together. Yes, and we will be taking on much more. Yes, sir. Our next one is Dende. Dende. <laughs> but before him, we went to go see Eric Bellinger. Yes. 
Yes, and Miss Ombre. I know we got me, baby. Hey. Louis got me, baby. Hey. Louis got me, baby. And Louis got me, me, baby. Like, Turn yes. around, be smish if you know you I talk, talk, talk shit and not at my. I love when you call me baby. Yes, I'm baby. I want to talk about it too much because yeah. we gonna do a little, you know, you know, a little, 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 little you. Mm-hmm. We're gonna bring y'all with us, but at the same time, if you get a chance, do that. Did I tell you that that's the most fun I've ever had at a concert? No, for real. This one, <laughs> <laughs> this one here, Connie. That's the most fun I ever had at a concert. Bro. I just don't think she's ever been to a concert with me next to her. Yeah, because even at the Eric Bellinger concert, we didn't even get to stand yeah, next to yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. We were texting each other during the whole concert, but we were not next to each other. So I feel like her experience probably she never experienced it with me before. So yeah, that was great. We had a ball it was chicago <laughs> as hell in there too we had a ball we met people we enjoyed the crowd the crowd enjoyed I can't believe I us did that. it was yeah you can you <laughs> hey the liquor the liquor had tea turned them up at night <laughs> do you hear me bop, bopping like how she was in 2015 what are you talking about right now like come on now that we, was a very good night uh, the opener we met a new artist called Paige. oh um more Paige Moore. Yes. She's Miss- from Atlanta. <sighs> very beautiful soul. Very beautiful girl. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had a chance to listen to her music since recently after the concert. Mm-hmm. And I do vibe with her. I I feel like her music is still developing. Like yeah, her sound. for sure. And she's taking that time right now to like tour, find herself, find what she wants to do. What type get, that, of- get that uh, fan base, you yeah. know, that organic, get it. Let people hear you. I feel like I got good hopes for her and her career. Yeah. I'm talking like I'm my manager. <laughs> no, but you, I mean, we can't be the R&B girls if we don't consume R&B. Hey. We got to go out and meet the people, see the people. No, for me? sure. If you ever have listened to Paige Moore or just like any of her music you mess with, let us know what yeah, you're really into. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got a, I've got a favorite of my own right now from her, but I mean, definitely send us those suggestions, please. For sure. She was so sweet coming out to meet the crowd and stuff yes she, she followed the pod so i appreciate you for following the pod you know <laughs> uh you feel me I, I i i got some merch and whatever i you feel me no for real drop the nice. bag on you babe it was nice <laughs> absolutely loved her energy i really feel like that was a good concert but you did say two nights or, or one night same city two concerts you i feel like you're about to ask me about another one like what concert would i do a quick one uh, between going to see Eric Bellinger and going to see Ombre. Same city one night. Just those people. No openers and shit. Just them. That wasn't that wasn't fair. I <sighs> Okay. And this is based off just from being at the concerts alone. Crap. Yeah, I guess that makes it easier. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would go see Ombre. Okay. I would too. The hoes was out for Aubrey, bro. It was so many beautiful <laughs> girls that night. Oh my gosh. Yes, there were. There were a lot of beautiful women. <sighs> she had her eye out for a lot of them. <laughs> okay, and sorry, when I say hoes, it's not me being disrespectful. You feel me? It's just that's just me saying like, you know, beautiful ladies with that's lame. The beautiful ladies was out. Y'all know what she you meant. Know. Don't but do yeah, too much. Um twin. It's a segment of this these pod episodes where I want you to give us an artist spotlight. Okay. So you feel me? You just put us on to somebody that you think is, has a great album that's out, or a great single, who's really killing it with marketing. You know, because I think that matters. I'm a geek for marketing and social media. So who you who would you like to spotlight for this episode? Now, um. And this is only because I feel like since we've talked to him on the pie reactions and mm. everything, that recently I've seen a lot more of him touring, doing different things, you know, collabing with different artists. Mm-hmm. Jordan Ward. He he actually had Paige Moore uh, open as up. her op- as yeah. his opener, yeah. and I I was like taken like aback, like okay, yeah. I listened to him. Mm-hmm. Then he got her opening. Mm-hmm. This is a nice little wrap around. I'm going to do a wrap around. Yeah. Like I literally, I enjoyed seeing like her post about that and then seeing her little performance and 
watching like him go on stage and do his own thing, mm-hmm. that man is a ball of energy. Okay. A ball of energy on the stage. And if you ever get a chance to check out his music, really understand. Jordan Ward. He is an artist. I okay. mean, Buddy gave us a video with choreography. His choreography at that. In a time where dancing ass niggas ain't cool to people. Okay. <laughs> he was doing some <laughs> Michael Jackson level shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. You, you dragging it. To I'm me. not dragging <laughs> it. <laughs> he, was doing, he was doing stuff where Michael would have done. Like maybe not those specific choreography moves, but just... With the way the video was set up, you got black and white black edits. And white. You got mm, you yeah. got the glasses, the all black cargos, and come on, come on. And the song we we're talking about is White Crocs. Come on now, yeah. Check out White Crocs. Check out Jordan. Ward check out our R and B reaction to White Crocs EP. on our YouTube channel. Check that out as well, because mm-hmm. I really feel like y'all gonna enjoy him. Okay. Well, something that will happen every single episode every week is we're going to give our top vibes of the week. And so what that means is it doesn't have to be a relevant song. It could be an oldie. It's just whatever our top five songs we've been vibing for for the week. Because one thing I'm going to do is listen to the same song. Over and over. Over and over. I can't even lie to you about that. I agree. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm going to go with my one. You go with your one. I got mine already. Go ahead. Okay. My one is I'm going to go off bat, you feel me? Always probably going to have an Eric Bellinger song every week. Oh, Jesus. That's all I listen to. <laughs> but I'm going to be st- greedy, and I'm going to say Eric Bellinger meditation music. Eric Bellinger meditation so music. So he had dropped some shit that's 26 minutes long, and it's a, just a continuous span of just five or six songs. But for the whole time he dropped, the, the whole MP3 that he dropped was just all those songs in one. As if you like meditating. So that whole time of you listening to it, you should be meditating to the music and is that some type of frequency that um, comes from like you. Janae? Yeah, me- basically. What? But the songs are fucking vibes. Well, we just, mm, I feel like, because she likes to play music when I come in here every single time. Yeah, Were but I was playing, I it? was playing, I think you came in when it was playing frequency. Can we meet up, meet up, meet up on oh my frequency? Yeah. On oh my frequency. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> so he low-key gave you some baby makers. But yeah, that's Lord my one. Jesus. That's my one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she got her EB off. Mm-hmm. My favorite, or just like my top song right now, uh, is the oldie. Okay. Only but goody, though. Miss Mary J. Mm. Share my world. Okay. Mm, come on now. Share okay. My World is a classic. Share okay, My okay, World okay, is okay. is uh, one of them drop your windows down in the summer type vibes. Okay. Mm. Like you could play that cleaning the house. You could play that cooking. You could play that at the cookout. Like that's a that's a universal song for me. So okay. I really thoroughly enjoy you, Mary. You fine. You you look real good at the Met too. Just wanted to shoot it. No. <laughs> <laughs> real good. Uh. Okay. My second. Is a, I've been listening to new music, the stuff that's dropped uh, this week. Mm-hmm. I don't really know exactly how to pronounce his name, but it's the song's called Summer, mm-hmm. and it's by Kenya Vaughn. Kenya V-A-U-N. Vaughn. Oh, okay. I like it. Summer by Kenya Vaughn. Yeah. Yeah. That's my second. I'm going to have to write that you gotta, down. Yeah, yeah, you got to check that out. Make sure y'all check it out. And come back to the comments. Let us know if you fuck with these songs, our vibes. Okay. What's your second? My second one is a little different. This is one okay. of the ones that you probably ain't never really thought about listening to. <laughs> but I fuck with the UK girlies. The okay. UK girlies got R and B in a different way. Okay. And this artist's name is Any. She dropped this Annie. song a while ago called Peng Black Girls. Peng. I don't I don't exactly Next. Oh for sure. Okay. African at that. Okay. Come on now. Okay. You already know what it is out there. Okay. Um, She dropped a song called Charge It. The song is basically about charging it to the game. Like how you feel about somebody, a relationship, something went wrong. Charge it. Like the vibe about the song is so dope to me. And she also started a all-female band mm. off of the Peng Black Girls song that went viral a while back. Okay. So if you got a chance to check Miss Any out, do that now. She has a video dropped just for Charge It. I've been watching it, listening to it on repeat, and it's a vibe. 
It's also okay, a good I look, car Everything play. that you suggest that I don't know, I'm going to check it out. And I'm going to check out the other one, too. Look at and This is how this is supposed to go. Yeah, because we, we supposed to be putting each, each other, other on. on. You know? That's how it's supposed R&B to be. R&B need all this fucking exposure and love. You know, For we, real. we trying to bring love back. And that's why y'all got to do the same thing. Show yeah. us what y'all been listening to. So... For the next week, I want us to listen to this project that dropped because it just dropped on the third Mm -hmm. and come back and give it a review for the next episode. But I don't know if you know, buddy, from TikTok singing in a uh, parking lot and shit, but St. Harrison, he's like uh, a white a white dude with like pink hair. Is he a little heavy? heavy? Yeah. Yeah. He got pipes. Yeah. So he dropped the EP. Okay. The song Homies with... uh, Tiana Major 9, that right there is a great song because that's how I'm feeling right now in my life. You Tiana feel? Major 9 is somebody I listen to regardless of who she's featured with. Okay. I don't care. Well, she she did her shit on this one too. Homies by St. Harrison with Shorty Us. That's another one I'm going to have to look into. All yeah. right. That she got I mean, me you got no two. choice because we got to review the EP because I oh, like the EP. Sure. So, oh, for sure. For sure. You feel me? So that's your third that's one? That's my third. My third is going to be... Um and and really it's only because I've been listening to him for a while and I didn't know that he had dropped something last year. Okay. Uh Jeremiah came out with an album or like a little EP or maybe just like singles. I don't really know, but the song is called Changes and it's got oh, a Oh, I know that song. Yeah, I I had not heard it before yesterday. And if somebody on TikTok was playing it, and I was like, you "Yeah, late I'm late. You late twin. I'm mad late, but I love that song, Jeremiah. I love that. Okay. Where you been at, by the way? The f- <laughs> He's gonna be on tour with Fifty Cent. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna ask you if you want to go see Fifty Cent when he covered the city. Uh, what do I know other than Candy? I mean, I go. I feel like it don't matter if we don't. It's just. Fifty Cent gonna be lit. I feel like y'all really gonna be out for that concert. Just don't do don't do him like Future, please. Um, I'm really not trying to. I'm really not trying to be a part of that. Okay, so my fourth song, I I listened to it today, mm-hmm. and it's uh, it seems like it's a black female R and B group that's new, and they call Lady, Lady N A apostrophe D Y, and they have a song called Love Me Down, and I like it. I like it a lot. You mess with it. I added it to my my library. I'm going to be listening to it for a few times to- for a few more times. Okay. I like that energy behind that. That mm-hmm. was that just sounds like I yeah, need to listen to it myself. Shit, like five black women. Look like it. Mm-hmm. Uh they look like they all black. If they not, my bad. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, for real. What's, your, sorry. what's your uh fourth? My fourth one is going to be six lakh tit for tat. That man is cold. Is that the on a new project? Yes. Okay. Of his new project, he's actually touring right now. By the way, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he's also <laughs> he's also coming to Chicago, and I feel like he's gonna do a lot from this album. But that album for me is like a half and half. Yeah. If you ever had a chance to actually listen to yeah. this album, the first half is completely different uh-huh. <laughs> from the back half. But I go with the back half so heavily. Okay. So do you want to go see him? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure, but it's just about how we match that up. So, okay. I mean, everybody tours at different days, and we might be out of town at that time. Okay. Well, my fifth and final vibe is Ombre. Uh, it's a toss-up between Gucci Slides and On Baby. Both of those, I'm sorry, not On Baby, because Gucci Slides and Superstitious. I yeah, I just got put on a superstitious. Oh at my that god, concert. twin, that's my shit. I just got put on a superstitious at that concert and everybody was singing and I was like I was left out, but I was really enjoying the hell out that song because superstitious, superstitious. Yeah. Superstitious. <laughs> like what? Oh my god. That's fire. That song had me in a choco and on baby. Both of those songs. Yeah, I could tell. Too. The way she was right next to me going crazy about that song, I was like, Yeah, I must not have knew. Yeah. I must not have knew. Yeah, so those, those that's my fifth. And it's those, funny. Both those songs, because I couldn't choose which one. Oh, well, excuse me. It's funny that you pick Ombre, because I'm about to pick her best friend, uh, Mr. Mister Yes, Mr. Destin Conrad. Mm. He definitely be doing his thing. And um, his EP that he recently just dropped, uh, what is it called? Satin, oh, I Satin. Satin. Satin be in my playlist, like, repeatedly. So I really have to give him some shout outs and do the song Nobody Knows. Okay. So. Nobody Knows. Yeah. 
Uh, that's a very beautiful piece like okay okay i feel okay. like his ear and the reason why they're friends is because their ear is almost the same yeah so, for sure they sound so good together <sighs> they compliment each other a little great on a song the world never knew we needed them yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm so serious okay well that's our five vibes of the week let us know how y'all feeling about our vibes if y'all rock with them. You feel me? Give us some commentation on what songs you actually know mm-hmm. and which ones you're going to look into. Yeah. Oh, same city, one night. Who y'all choosing? Oh, please do that. Who I y'all really want to see who y'all going to pick. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's it. That's the first episode. Did you have fun? I did. You have <laughs> always have fun about R&B. <laughs> So I really did have a really good time. I hope y'all enjoyed this as well because we're coming back. For sure. Every (laughs) Monday, y'all going to see us. And if it don't drop, it'll be there. Okay, we probably had technical difficulties. I fell asleep. Just let her know. Let her know to get that done. Well, (laughs) if you are on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Yes, ma'am. And if you're on your favorite streaming platform, thank you for tuning in. And make sure you leave us a rating. Peace. Bye. Just watch the damn podcast.